so on my way to the to this farm in Ivory Coast, uh, the PFAM fund that we apply, and uh, be very interesting to see. It's a big fund because we uh, we're starting our our expansion plan in uh, in West Africa. Man, it's six in the morning. I'm, uh, just got to the airport. It's still like dark as hell. I highlight y'all when I when I get there. Just to give you guys a little bit of context, uh, PFAN is a, is a fund, actually the fund they're running right now is a fund that uh, uh, to promote um, not just renewable energy but economic empowerment for women in West Africa. So we applied, I think it's 10 of us, we've been selected uh, to pitch, go to the same process and that's something I want to tell uh, some of the youth out there, there's a lot of funding for a very interesting project that you can apply um, but you have to spend time online I mean this P fan is actually one of my colleague Jeremiah that I uh, actually find it uh, because we also operational in Uganda and uh, we decide to apply I mean it doesn't hurt it's free to apply guys you have nothing to lose um, the, the, the only thing they can say is no now of course you have to have an innovative project of course it has to fit into the criteria you trying to uh, uh, solve but you need to start doing a lot of those applications uh, and apply to a lot of those funds if you want to build your business because unfortunately if you focus only locally with local fund you're going to have a problem so check it out man PFA renewable energy they only focus on west africa they have a lot of partnership a huge network uh it's a very interesting for for sure Just landed here in Abidjan. Um, can't wait to get this uh, schedule going on. Actually, there's no traffic today, man. Let me, let me show a little bit. There's, there's no traffic today. It's crazy. So anyway, we're here to pitch uh, for our project to start our West African market. Here for four days till Saturday. Check out. Day one, well, today's day one, right? Uh, day two, then. Uh, what's gonna happen? It's beautiful. We are here today with the nerve firstly, what seems to be a slight technical glitch, which I'm hoping we're going to solve very soon. Um, but perhaps more importantly, we are here today in order to seek a $23 million investment in, um, in our project. And what that actually entails is the realization... I'm not sure I understand the question, but if you mean the ownership, it is Sewa Energy Resources Limited that has 100% ownership. And if you mean off-taker, it's the government that's actually the off-taker um, through EDSA, which is the local distribution network in Sierra Leone. Yes, that's correct. Which diagram, please? Are you talking of the our company structure? The project company? Well, we, it's, got, it's split into three parts. day two of uh, the PFAN event and uh, very interesting pitches we'll be pitching tomorrow and but one thing I'm noticing man Africa needs a lot more money about um, energy than what we have now because it's peanuts money out there what's up boss 
what's up? What's up? You know me, man. You have to, you have to tell me. Hey, 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 you, hey. you, you got to tell me. Now, let me tell you. This is the boss man right there, man. In the energy business. <laughs> hey, it's good to see old friends from high school, man. What's up, man? Good, man. You good? Um, and I see that you have quite some recruiting higher on, I mean, in the IRR here. Uh, what's the secret sauce here? Because, uh, and also, what's the other shadow of the community? So, can you repeat the last question? Why they? Yeah, so the, the, if, you, if you look at the, you know, the way the revenue is in this community, I assume that's quite a lot, right? Uh, the price, of, uh, you said you had uh, 19 cents. Hi, Claude Howard. Howard. Um, generally, consumption is not so big. Uh, the cost of building the lines uh, is quite high. And, uh, you know, it, it might be a bit of a, of a challenge. So I'm trying to understand what's the secret sauce to include the equation, put this large power capacity generation, and still be find people who can buy electricity at 90 cents. Uh, and generate that kind of uh, higher order. Thank you for the question. One of the things we are doing, we are, we are quite aware of the, of the uh, limitation of mini grids, especially when the focus is just on the households. That is why with our project, we are providing electricity for businesses and the highest consumption seems to come from the business. If you look at the power generation, uh, the project would be uh, capturing approximately 25% of the energy that is generated will be uh, sold to businesses. Normally, households would consume in the region of 35 kilowatt hour of energy in the maximum per month. In some cases, it might even be about 25 kilowatt hour of energy. But business, uh, local businesses, consumes at least 10 times of that. And that ensures the revenue. And also, I mentioned that the revenue, the high hazard of the project is 30. 4%, that's the equity higher hire. The project higher hire of the project is 20%. And the payback period for that is approximately five and a half years. So uh, quickly, uh, I don't know if uh, the event is about to be over. And uh, one of the things I've noticed about this event is most of the candidates have the same project. There's a real lack of innovation among some of the projects I've seen, unfortunately. Um, you know, pay as you go, a big project. It's almost like people don't want to take risk for some reason. I'm not sure why. They're about to, you know, uh, say who's going to be the winner. But uh, I think the future is innovation. People got to take risk. We'll see who wins.